All right, that's it. Hey guys, how's it going? Alex here, and in this video I'm going to talk about window installation. And we have a perfect example here on this Cobb building of a newly installed window. And I'm going to lead you through every step that we did to create this opening and install the window. So you'll see the foundation at the very bottom. Of course that's where the structure begins. And what you're going to do is build the cob up to whatever level you want to have your window sill at. And what you're going to want to do when you get to that level, you want to let this cob dry for at least two weeks, um, preferably three or four if you can, depending on how thick your wall is. But you want to have that cob completely dry by the time you have your window sill installed because you don't want to have this window sill on fresh cob or else it could settle and get out of level and out of place. So once you have the cob here, you create and install the window sill. It doesn't have to be made out of concrete. It could be stone or um, could potentially be wood, but I would go for either concrete or stone for a solid window sill. <clears throat> and then what you're gonna do from that is continue the cob wall up. Now before you get too high, preferably as soon as this sill is installed, you're going to create and install the outer window frame, which goes along the sides and the top. And this creates a form to build the walls around. And then eventually your final window will be installed into this which I'll talk more about. So once this outer frame is installed, you're going to continue to build the cob walls up. And as you build up, you'll see here, there's one sticking out. This is a window anchor, sometimes known, referred to as a dead man. This is connected to the outer frame with screws from the inside. And what this does is it integrates the entire window structure with the cob wall. So this frame cannot pull out of the cob wall because this anchor is completely embedded inside the wall, completely surrounded by cob. So don't forget the window anchors. I usually do two or three per side for a window, depending on the height of the window. And as you continue to build the cob wall up, you continue to install the anchors, surround the anchors, and until you get to the top of your window frame. Then what you're going to do, same as how you would do with the sill. You're going to get to this point, you're going to let the cob dry for a couple weeks until it's completely solid and it's not going to settle anymore. Then you want to create and install what's called a lintel. Now the lintel distributes the weight of all this cob that's above this opening. It's going to distribute it over that opening and allow you to continue to build the structure up. And again, in this case we have concrete. Um, I recommend either concrete, stone, or wood. Now once all of that's completed, you're really ready to install your finished window. Now I created this window custom because we had a bit of a, a non-standard size on this window and you'll see there's some uh, big gaps around it which we'll take care of with plaster but basically we set the finished window inside this outer box and as you see here we have shims on either side to get this window nice and tight in there and we screwed a screw through each one of these into the outer box so that now everything is fully integrated. This is integrated with the outer box. The outer box is integrated with the wall. So everything is nice and solid and nothing's going to move. So the last finishing touches for a window like this 
is we're going to put some insulation in these gaps. We're going to put chicken wire over this wood right flush up to the finished window frame and then we're going to continue this plaster over that wire so it's nice and smooth, a nice smooth transition. Everything gets cleaned up, looks nice and nice and neat. And essentially that's it for installing the window. Now I want to step over here real quick and show you a door. So installing a door is the exact same process really because we have the foundation, the cob wall with the, the door anchors. Um, you'll see here we actually have an outer frame and you can't really see them but we have the uh, the anchors attached to that as well and then the door attaches to that and we have a lintel above too and then we'll fill in these gaps so basically it's the same process for windows and doors <laughs>